and good evening. Who's around? Alfonso, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you, mister? Ready to start? Yes, I'm ready. That's cool. That's cool. So, how was your day, mister? Um, so, so, teacher. This Why? is one, one problem. Well, not two, two, two problems. Oh, really? Uh, number one is una, one, una lesión en el labio. Oh, my. Una postema, yeah, that, algo así. That's painful. Well, actually, it's uncomfortable. Eso es incómodo. Y duele, molesta. Y yeah. Una acá y una en la lengua. Oh, my. And number two, uh, more... More, más trabajo. More work? More work, yes. Um, oh, really? Um, in building um, level three is more, more work for clean and machines. Oh my. Well, for, that's the it is, no? It, Era como el único nivel que no se había tocado y eso está. So it's terrible. It's horrible. I can imagine. Yes, I can terrible. imagine. Anyway, that's the way it is. Ni modo así toca, ¿no? Yes. <laughs> y es que eh, eh, nos hemos programado. Eh, toda la semana para eso. Oh, really? You're going to be working on that all week long? Yeah. Oh, my. Y eh, yo con esto así, muy bien incómodo. I can imagine, yeah, because those things are uncomfortable. That's actually the word, son incómodos, realmente. Yes. Um, uh, nothing more. Okay, nothing more, no more. What about yesterday? How was your weekend? Um, ¿Cómo se dice? One moment. Um, no, no es como decir inventé, sino que es eh, hice un juego de mesa. Oh, really? Uh, for playing my uh, what with uh, with my son para jugar con mi hijo okay a board game that's a board game board game yes board game board game okay uh, yeah bien entusiasmado por el juego <laughs> i can imagine little kids are like that they get excited yes um no sé, pare, me parece le llamaban a esos jueguitos eh, los, los no te enojes, creo. No caí en una casilla y perdía turnos. Lo regresaba. Yeah, yeah, I remember. All those type of games are called board games. Todo ese tipo de juegos son los board games. Board games. Yes. Board o more? Board. 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 Ah, board games. Ah, okay. Board games. Ah, board games. So you were busy. So ocupado. <laughs> Tengo que <clears throat> buscar en qué entretener al chiquitín. Yeah. Cuando está conmigo. <laughs> That's actually true. With little kids, it's... Well, every day is something new. Cada día es algo distinto. Yes. Yeah. Uh, They're cool. Yes. yes, yes, very cool. That's nice, that's nice. Okay, just let me check on something. Because I need this info. Okay, today is the 8th, perfect. Well, 
Thank you very much, Alfonso. Let's see, Walter Ruiz. Hello, good evening. Thank How you. are you? Good teacher. I'm fine. How was your day? Mm. I complete everything that multi weekend. I say very happy. So you are happy today? Yeah. I complete everything. Okay, that's cool. Was a heavy day? Was it a heavy day? Yeah. Mm, you, you, the problem is the weekend. Oh, weekends are heavy. Yes. Or complex. Because Saturday and, because Saturday and Sunday, I had to. I had, I had to, to check. To check all. Everything. All of those. Okay. Well, the good thing is that you are here today. We are ready for the class. Relaxing. Yeah. And I mean, we are going to have fun today. Okay. Today we are going to work with some some interesting topics. And just let me see. My gosh, I just I'm wondering where it's something. I hate it when I miss something, when I lose something. Okay, let's see who else is around. Thank you very much, Walter. Arvin, hello, sure. how are you? How are you, teacher? I'm just fine. What about you? How was your day, mister? Um, ¿Cómo se dice estoy bien cansado? I am very tired. I am very tired. Okay, why? Was it a heavy day? I work. Okay. I worked. Was it heavy? Was it difficult today? Um, um difficult um in in el día um, um tranquilo tranquilo during the day it was easy in the day this was easy yes okay okay well you know it goes like that así va Sometimes we have easy days, yes. sometimes we have difficult days, but... Difficult and, and easy, uh, por momentos, como se dice? Sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Um, es que yo trabajo en, en Don Pollo, and um, um, for a moment, difficult and, and, and easy. Okay, sometimes. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it is difficult. Sometimes, yes. Say with me, diga conmigo. Sometimes it is easy. Sometimes it is easy. And sometimes it is difficult. And sometimes it is difficult. Okay. Well, okay, yeah, thank that's, you. That's the way it goes with everything así va todo don't worry okay thank you, very thank much, you mr luis armando leiva hello hello teacher how are you i'm just fine thank you how was your day well 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 <laughs> i had a very busy day because in the morning i had a meeting with my boss and other sort of stuff Okay. And in the afternoon, uh, a new meeting with the uh, um, official of the uh, Ministerio del Ambiente. Oh, really? Environment Ministry? Environment okay. Ministry. Okay. Uh, I have a meeting with the official of Environment, environment Ministry. And and, and I, I had a, a very tired day oh. because I, I am here and, and sorry and 
now I am here and I am ready. <laughs> okay, that's cool, that's cool. You know, today we are going to be working with something interesting. Thank you very much, Luis. Let's see, everybody, where are they? Today they are connecting late. That's weird. Perhaps people is having problem with connection. Connection is going to be complex tonight due to the winds. The winds affect. Okay, let's see, let's see. Mr. Alfonso, tell me, Hi. what what did you do Saturday afternoon? You don't remember? Saturday <laughs> afternoon. Uh... I'm oh, sorry, teacher. Okay, what did you do? ¿Qué hizo? Saturday? The days of the week. Monday, Tuesday. Saturday. Oh, no. Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 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 Saturday, yes. Saturday Saturday. afternoon. Oh. Afternoon is Saturday. Saturday pasado. Sábado en la tarde. Ah, sábado en la tarde. Por la tarde. Eh, ¿Qué hice es ese día? Eh, more, more work in my house and clean uh, el trapié, el piso, the clean and. Como, ¿Cómo puedo decir los oficios varios? The house eh, chart. Mop. Mop es trapear. Mop. Mop. Trapear. Ah, ok. Um, preparing. House chart. Uh, Look, house chart. Ah, house chart. House is. Uh, es el. Es el eh, ¿Cómo se dijera? ¿Son los oficios varios? Yep. Es el oficio ah. de la casa. Ah. Yes. Eh, ese día. Yes, that sabe? day. That day. That, that, that day. Day. That day is more com completed. O, no, com complicado. Complicated. Complicated. Complicator for me, uh, for to go, uh, tengo que ir. I have to go. I have to go a, tra a traer. I, to get. I have to go to get. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to go to get and my son. I have to go get my son. Ah, I had to go get my son. Um, other, um, that is my deber. Um, Where do you go get them? ¿A dónde lo va a recoger? Um, Donde los abuelos, la mamá. Okay. To his grandpa's. Yes. Grand, grandpa's. To, their, to his grandparents. So you just have him on weekends. Lo tiene solamente los weekends. Yes. Okay. Bueno, no todos. Pero... Some weekends. Some weekends. Some, some weekends, yes. Oh, uh, in the... Sorry, teacher. I don't... Uh, I don't listen. No se escucha. No le escucho. No. That's weird. I can listen to you properly. Ahora sí. Okay, okay. Well, yes, that's yes, enough. Yes, 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 yes. 
That's enough, Alfonso. Yeah. That's perfect. Thank you very much. Berta, I saw you around. Berta, where are you? Berta, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, miss? Fine, teacher. How was your day? My day is fine. The day. activity is normal. Oh, you have normal activities today. That's cool. Yes. That's great. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, and tell me, what about the weekend? What did you do during the weekend? Um, on Saturday, go my family with uh, which? Where? A dónde? Laia. Oh, to the beach. Yes. That's excellent. That's excellent. Yeah. Which? Where did you go specifically? Uh, Costa del Sol. Oh, really? That's nice. And tell me, nice. you stay there just Sunday, solo el domingo? Uh, no, Saturday. Okay, just... And Sunday, the, the activity is in-house. At home? And, uh, at home. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What did uh, you do? Go go to the market and clean my house and make dinner. Okay. Uh, uh, all activity activities in in my home. Okay. That's good. I mean, it's always good to have everything nice and TV at home. Very nice. Okay, that's nice. Thank you very much, Berta. Okay, perfect. Let's see who's going to be next. Who's going to be? Susana. Hello. Hello. How are you, Susana? Good. I'm good. Okay, how was your day? Um, my day was... Good, um, very quiet, tranquilo. Quiet, um, relaxing? That's yes, good. It's, it's very hot today. Hot? Mm. Yeah, it was Hello? windy. It was windy. Así se dice mucho calor? Yes, it's very hot today. Ah, okay. It is very hot today. Very, very hot. Yeah. Yeah, actually it was windy but hot. It's been windy, ha estado windy, but at the same time hot. Okay. Yeah, 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 I know, I know what you mean. I mean, the weather is complex lately. Ha estado complicado el clima últimamente. Yes. Yes. Well, but we have to. Thank you very much, Susana. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Sonia, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, explain to me. You connected four minutes late. Why? Uh, I llegué tarde en la casa. Okay, listen to me. I arrived home late. I arrived home late. Okay, I have. I, I arrived. Arrive I arrived home late. Yes. And then, <clears throat> why? Why did you get? Um, home late? I had a busy day and prepare reports, authorize. Payment. Uh, um, I meet with the financial and marketing management. And como estuve una conferencia. I had telefónica. a conference. Okay, a conference call. I had a 
conference call with the corporativo. Corporative. Con el, ajá, con el corporativo de la empresa y fue pesado todo el día. It's been interesting <laughs> for you. Eh. Well, uh, that's a normal day. Así es. Yeah, that's the way it is. Thank you very much, Sonia. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Hey, Sandra. Hello. How are you? Sandra Yanira. Hello. Oh, perhaps having problems with the connection. Mr. Arana. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Walter. Nope. Your microphone is not activated yet. Or Hello, see. yes. <laughs> Sorry, no. teacher. No problem. Hello, Walter. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Uh, how was your day? Your day? Ah, sorry. Uh, my day was quiet. Uh, quiet? Quiet. Quiet. What do you mean by quiet? Busy. Okay, busy listen. at work. Oh, quite busy. Quite busy at work. Okay, quiet. Busy. Like yes. That. Quite yes. busy. Okay. Quite it's just busy. because just the word quiet means callado. Okay. Uh, just the word quiet means callado. But if you say uh, quite busy, it's a uh, it's an expression actually that implies that transmit the idea of bastante, okay? When we have the word quiet before another adjective, si ponemos la palabra quiet before, antes de otro adjetivo, de un adjetivo, significa bastante. Quite dirty, bastante sucio. Quite hot, bastante cálido. Quite late, bastante tarde, okay? Thank you very much, Walter. It's good. It's always good to have new vocabulary. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Let's see, Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Evelyn. Hi. Good evening. Evening. Good evening. Uh, how was your day? Thank you. Um, my day is good, it but good. my return. Yeah, I, but I told you many I times. I find their traffic terrible, I, terrible. <laughs> I told you many times, se lo he dicho en repetidas ocasiones, it's Sonia's fault. Terrible. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can blame and, it on her. And and the triad, uh, other driver, uh, collision, no, the my part, um, behind of my car. Oh, your bumper, uh, bumper, Ooh. okay, yes, your bumper, yes, and I have. Pain next. Okay. Or okay. next pain. <laughs> okay, yeah. Painting cars is ah, delicate. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I understand you. I understand you. I mean, the other day, like two weeks ago, I I hit the bumper of the car. Hace dos semanas me pasó lo mismo. I, but I hit it. Oh. Ah, sí. Going in, <laughs> going on a reverse, going on a reverse, I hit something. Yendo de retroceso, mm. algo. 
And today, actually, they just brought me the car. Me acaban de traer el vehículo. They painted it. But I mean, uh, it's it's an expense. It is an expense. Yes. Yeah. Es un gasto. It's expense. Expense. Yes. Gasto. It is an expense that sometimes we don't have program. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and the problem is that when there are little things, cuando son cosas pequeñitas, I mean, it's better to fix it yourself instead instead of calling the insurance. Sale más barato arreglarlo uno uh, que la aseguradora. I don't, don't understand. Okay, I said that sometimes it is better. Uh, to fix it yourself instead of calling the insurance. Yes. Uh, because I mean, calling the insurance sometimes, oh my gosh, it's a headache. Well, thank you, Evelyn. Interesting talking to you. Where's Mauricio, hello Mauricio, how are you? Mm, I think it's perhaps just arriving. Edwin, hello, mister. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Edwin. Where are you, mister? I am great. And my day is off. Okay, but where are you? Donde está? Uh, in my room. Okay. In el cuarto. Yes, oh, in my yes. room. In my room. But it's not the same yeah. position as usual. No es la misma eh, posición de siempre. Y se cambio en la casa. <laughs> I can tell, I can tell. Because yeah. usually I get you from the other side, the, from your other profile. Es que, oh. lo voy a decir en español porque no sé cómo es. Tell me, tell Estaba me. en la sala porque ocupaba la, las pantallas, la pantalla del televisor y la pantalla de la laptop. Y me acabo de pasar, bueno, ayer hice los cambios para pasar al cuarto porque ya no voy a usar la pantalla del televisor. Ok. Entonces, y allá así les dejo ver tele a los niños porque... Oh, sí, yeah, yeah. Mucho. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, look, Edwin, check out the chat. I was in the was, living room because mm -hmm. I was using the TV screen as a monitor, right? Mon yeah. Usaba como cuando estaba trabajando en la casa, Homework. Okay. Homework. Este, usaba tres pantallas. Oh my gosh. La pantalla de la laptop, una pantalla extra y la del televisor. For real? <laughs> yeah. Complex. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's the way it is. Thank you very much, Edwin. Let's Thank see. You. Sonia, open up your mic, Hello. please. Hello. Hello. Tell me, Sonia, how often do you iron your hair? How often? Hi, mi cabello. Iron, yes. How often do you iron your hair? Mm, I don't understand okay iron is like this usually for clothing um, but i your know hair... um, como es no acostumbro hacerlo okay almost never in this case casi nunca casi nunca okay say with me no i almost never i Diga almost conmigo. never iron my uh -huh. hair I almost never iron my hair. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay. Hey, let's see. Oh, who was having problems? Hmm. Daisy Elizabeth. Just let me try to fix something with hair.
first let me do something guys okay perfect and uh, open your microsoft teacher yes yes because i was listening to something from the from the boss some of our some of our co-workers are having problems with connections algunos grupos están reportando problemas con conexión yeah it's windy hace viento okay let's see thank you very much sonia but okay i did it uh, 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 sonia i'm still with you todavía estoy con usted Okay. <laughs> okay, and tell me, how often do you do the laundry? Um, how do you say un día si el otro no? Ah, oh, I told you the other day. Eso se lo dije la vez pasada. Every, sí, yo sé, pero... Every other day. Every other day. Every, every other, other day. day. Okay. Eso es un día sí y el otro no. Yep. Okay. And you can say every other week, every other month. Every other day. Okay. And tell me, do you always do it in the morning or in the afternoon? In the morning. Oh. Usually in the morning. Early in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yes. What time do you usually do it? Um, at 6 a.m. At 6 a.m.? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's 6 a.m. in the morning, man. I don't yes. do the laundry at that time. Never. I thought I would do it. I mean, at that time of the day, I need a shot of coffee. That's the only thing I can think of. I not drink a coffee. You don't drink coffee? Oh, I am so sorry no. for you. Como lo lamento. Mm -mm. <laughs> lo mismo digo con las pupusas. <laughs> I am so sorry for you. Not drinking coffee. Man, you know, there's there's almost nothing as special for me like a like a a double espresso around 4 mm -hmm. p.m. Un espresso doble eso a las 4 de la tarde. That's delicious. I don't Thank you, Sonia. Mm, okay. You. Let's see, let's see. Berta. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Berta, how often do you check your email? Um, uh, siempre, always. Always. All day, op, uh, open all day. All day long. Yeah. Okay, that's like this. Todo el día. Yes. All day long. All day long. Or you can also say it like this. All along the day. A lo largo de todo el día. Okay. All along the day. All along the day. All along the day. Yes, that's a lo largo de todo el día. Yes. Central teacher. Hello, Daisy. Welcome. The internet connection is giving problems tonight. Sí, teacher. But don't worry, don't worry. We are we are here and we are going to be waiting for anybody who's got problems. Si alguien se me desconecta, no se preocupe que aquí le vamos a estar esperando. Okay, by the way, today is, uh, oh, today is Vladimir's time. Okay, I wonder where's Vladimir. It's not here. Let's see. Walter Arana. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Walter. Uh, how often do you how often do you go to parties? Fiestas. Oh. I am. How often do you go? 
que tan a menudo va. A la fiesta, pero... Any party, any party, any kind of party. Um, ¿Cómo le digo? Me regaña mi esposa. <laughs> <laughs> ok, you get the love. Cuando está ella es distinto. Ok, if she's home, all the time. Yes. Otherwise, never. Never. Ok, I understand. <laughs> I understand. Let's ask somebody who supposedly doesn't have that, that type of problem. Preguntémosle a alguien que no tiene esos problemas. Mr. <laughs> Walter Ruiz. Walter Ruiz is single. Hello. You are single, right? Estás soltero, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ok, yeah. Cool, man. Tell me, Walter, how often do you go to parties? I don't know. Let me see. Okay, I'll make it simpler. Se lo voy a hacer más fácil. How often do you go out with friends? All weekends. Every weekend. All the weekends. Usually. Cool. Oh. That's excellent. Oh, my friends are drunk. Are drunk. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so you go drinking. Yeah. Okay. You go drinking with your friends. Yeah, you are single. You don't have no more responsibilities but yourself. Mm, it's, maybe. Yeah, could be, could be. Thank you, Walter. What about you, Edwin? Tell me, Edwin. How often do you go out with your friends? Oh, once, once for a month. Once a month. Once. Once a month. Once. Okay. That's, that's acceptable. That's Los estudios y todo cuando a todos nos podemos reunir. Oh yeah, but you are, you are studying at the university. That's right. It consumes time. It yeah. takes a lot of time. Eso yeah. lleva mucho tiempo. For example, eh, la semana que estuvimos de descanso de las clases de inglés, yes. me pude reunir. Oh, that's cool. Sábado. Okay, you have to say it like this. Look, we could because it's in past. We could get together we could get together nos pudimos we reunir nos together. pudimos juntar yeah that's cool what about you arvin how often do you go out with your friends hi teacher repeat please how often do you go out with your friends um And my friends go um no no le entendí muy bien how often if you check in the chat si revisan el chat les puse que significa how often okay how yes. often do you go out sale with your friends ah okay uh, um i go i go my friends on weekend Okay, I go out with my friends. Say with me. Yes. I, repita conmigo. I go out yes. with my friends. I go out with I go out with my friends. On weekends. On weekends. Perfect. Thank you. Let's ask the other side of the coin. Veamos el otro lado de la moneda. Susana, tell me, how often do you go out with your friends? With my friends? Yes. Oh, in this, in this time, uy, cada dos meses, tres meses. <laughs> okay, every two, I don't have three, a time. Okay, say with me, every I two, don't have three a months. time. Cool, I understand you. I understand you. I can hear you? No problem, no problem. I could hear you. Yo le escuché. No problem. Thank you. Thank what about you, Sonia? Thank you. How often do you go out with your friends? Um, usually once a month. Once a month. That's nice. 
Exacto. ahora, pero y antes, ¿cómo le puedo decir? Antes de la cuarentena. Before the pandemic. Una o dos veces. Una o dos veces. Y one or, ahora one, que estoy... Once or uh, twice a month. Once or twice a month. Ahora. Nowadays. Now, nowadays, usually once a month. Okay, once a month. month. That's still mm -hmm. okay. Nowadays. Nowadays means hoy en día. Okay, nowadays. Ah, okay. Now, nowadays. Yes, that's nowadays. So, thank you. Okay. Okay, guys, I need to get attendance. I'm sorry. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera? Say present, please. Present, teacher. Ar Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Present, teacher. Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta. Present, teacher. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López. Daisy Elizabeth Zelaya Gómez. Present, teacher. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present, teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present, teacher. Ivani Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. In traffic. Karen Lizeth García Rodríguez. Here. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present, teacher. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Sandra. Present teacher. Thank you. Oops. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Okay, Sonia, thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina, no here. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present, teacher. Walter Josué Ruiz Ayala. Jose. I'm sorry, Jose. Sí, I'm present. Thank you very much, Mr. My bad, my bad. Today was my bad. Hoy sí, yo me equivoqué. Okay, let's see, let's see. We are going to, well, I've been asking you about how often do you do things because one of the topics we are going to cover today are, is the adverse of frequency. Uno de los temas que veremos today and tomorrow is the adverse of frequency. Today we are going to practice them a little bit. Hoy lo vamos a practicar un poco. Tomorrow we are going to see specifically the grammar explanation with a PowerPoint presentation and stuff. But today we are going to focus more on the how to apply them. Ahora nos vamos a enfocar más en, en usarlos, okay? Adverse of frequency are the words that they, well, actually as the name says, they help us to express how regularly we do something. That's why you were listening to me asking like uh, asking Susana and Sonia how often do you go out when I ask how often I am asking you about the frequency how regularly okay it's like this is like if I go and I ask Mr. let's see Mr. Arana how often do you check your email Uh, every day, t-shirt. Okay, so you could say, instead of saying every day, you could use an albero frequency and tell me, I always check my email, right? You can express it that way. Always. Yes, you can say, I always, always check my email. Remember, alberts of frequency, they are not like specific because the frequency, thank you, Walter, the frequency when we do something, la frecuencia con la que hacemos algo, eh, actually depends on the point of view of whoever is talking. Depende realmente del punto de vista de quien está hablando. Because 
what is, uh, imagine that Walter says, oh, I always check my email. Walter me dice, yo siempre reviso mi correo. But once a day. What about Sonia? She tells me, oh, I always, I am always checking my email. Ella me dice, siempre estoy revisando mi correo. But in her case, it's like 20 times a day. En el caso de ella es como 20 veces al día. In both cases, you are using always, but the situation is different, and it depends on what. Pero la situación cambia, y depende de qué. Oh, the point of view of whoever is speaking. El punto de vista de quien lo está diciendo. Right? It depends on that. That's why, remember, adverbs of frequency, they are not like specific. No son completamente específicos. And I'm telling you this beforehand, y les digo esto de antemano, because eh, if you look for grammar's explanations about the adverbs of frequency, si me buscan exp explicaciones sobre los adverbios de frecuencia, you will usually find lists. Normalmente van a encontrar listas. And some of them, like, they put them with averages. Y los colocan con promedios, porcentajes. Okay? Like, always 100%. Always, siempre. But as you saw with the example I was giving you, como pudieron ver con el ejemplo que le daba, always, siempre, is not the same for everybody. No es lo mismo para todos. Right? Okay, like if I ask, uh, uh, if I ask Walter Ruiz, Walter, tell me, how often do you check your cell phone on a regular day? Mm, always. I check oh. my phone. Okay, but it's because, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Walter, you use it for working, right? Usted también lo utiliza yeah. como parte del trabajo, okay? He says, oh, I always, I am always checking my cell phone. Siempre estoy chequeando mi teléfono. And uh, what about if we ask uh, Alfonso, we ask him, hey, Alfonso, how often do you check your, your cell phone? Um... In the morning, no checking my cell phone. Okay, just in the afternoon. Yes. In, in the morning, morning, why do you not check your cell phone? Repeat, please. Why do you not check your cell phone in the morning? Por qué no en la mañana? Oh, sorry. Uh, for my work, uh, no. It is not allowed in your company, actually. En su compañía no es permitido. Yes. It is not allowed. Uh, for for moment, yes. For mo okay. For moment, moment specific, yes. Uh, five minutes, ten minutes. But no not, more. but not too regularly. Yeah. And, and some people, well, before I remember that some people they were asked to leave it in the in the in the. Mm, lockers. Recuerdo que antes algunos empleados lo dejaban en los lockers. Yes. It's mandatory in his company for some employees. En la compañía de él es obligatorio. For some of the employees to leave the cell phone. Medidas. Measures. Measures, measures of security. No, security measures. Ah, security measures. Yeah, security measures. Yeah, due to that. Due to that, debido a ello, due to that, they don't check cell phones. They have to leave them in the lockers. Tienen que dejarlos en los lockers. Yeah. Yes. And your company, I mean, that's, those measures are all. En esa compañía esas medidas son viejísimas. Yes. Thank you, Alfonso. So, in his case, his co-workers always have to leave. They, they always have to leave their cell phones in the locker. Okay. In my case, actually, I work with two different cell phones. So, uh, all along the day, I am always checking my cell phone. A lo largo del día siempre estoy revisando el teléfono. But 
the perspective changes here. La perspectiva cambió acá. Because I said, oh, I am always checking my cell phone. Siempre estoy revisando mi teléfono. But actually I am checking two different cell phones. Pero realmente estoy revisando dos distintos. Why? Because I have uh, questions and recalls. Este, tengo llamadas, tengo peticiones. From students from different parts. De alumnos de diferentes lugares. So I need to be like checking all the time. But it doesn't mean that I have the cell phone like this all day long. Pero no quiere decir que lo tengo acá todo el día. So I am simplifying again for you. The adverbs of frequency express that. The frequency. Los adverbios de frecuencia nos expresan eso. La regularidad es la palabra en español. La regularidad con la que efectuamos algo. Pero esa regularidad depende del punto de vista de quien lo dice. Y perdón que hago la aclaración así, pero es importante que la idea la tengamos clara desde el inicio. Otra cosa que les voy a explicar en español es esto. Eh, los adverbios de frecuencia se utilizan mucho, lo van a encontrar mucho, en presente simple. Porque si ustedes se recuerdan del módulo pasado, el presente simple, it is used to express routines. Lo expresamos para express, lo utilizamos para expresar rutinas, habits or facts, hábitos o hechos. And when we talk about routines, we talk about things that we do regularly. Y cuando hablamos de rutinas, hablamos de cosas que hacemos regularmente, right? That's actually the definition of a routine, something that you do with a certain frequency. Realmente la definición de rutina, algo que usted hace con una, con una cierta regularidad, ¿ok? That's why they are adverbs of frequency. They are used with simple present mostly. Se utilizan mucho con los, con los tiempos simples. Y con el presente simple, muchísimo. Because, I repeat, we use it to express routines. Yes, Alfonso? Excuse me, teacher. Uh, for a moment, interruptions, the, the red. Oh, yeah, yeah. The web is giving problems. I was telling your classmate that we use the simple present to express routines. Utilizamos el presente simple para expresar rutinas. Okay? And adverbs of frequency express the frequency. El adverbio de frecuencia nos expresa la regularidad. That means the how regularly something happens. Que tan regular pasa algo. Y que es cuando algo pasa regularmente en que se convierte a routine. Okay? That's why we use them mostly with simple present. Not just, but mostly. No solamente, pero sí se usa mucho. Okay? And we are going to talk about that a little bit. So, let's go check in your manuals. If you got your manual, please, handy. We go to page number 19 from your manuals. Vamos a la página 19. If you got it. I'm going to share with you. Okay. We have here a conversation. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. As often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. I repeat, how often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to, to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. 
I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. I will repeat one more time. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Fridays to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, guys, we're going first right now. We are going to practice it. You are going to have four minutes to practice. Then we come back and we, we are going to role play. You are not going to role play with the same person you are practicing. No me lo va a representar con la persona que va a practicar ahorita. So, you need to practice both roles. Así que me practican ambos roles, ¿ok? Let me check. Ok, let's see, let's see. Perfect. Please, jump in. Teacher. Hello, Berta. My name is Hola. Not back my group. Okay, okay. Just give me a second. Solo de mi instante. That I forgot sending the picture of the conversation. Olvidé enviarles la fotografía de la conversación. Give me a second. Okay, I send it so everybody can have it. Envío para que todos lo tengan. And let's see. Start. You start, Miss. Ya comienza. Okay. Often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Oh. I try to check. I try to check. In a, often I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. Always uh, call them first thing in the morning. I believe. I believe. Yes, it is it's important. important. 
to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Okay, now I will start. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Perfect, thank you. I'll be back. Voy a chequear los otros grupos a ver si ya terminaron. Thank you. Bye bye, teacher. Okay. Sonia y. I am. No, you are Sonia. Dale, <laughs> Walter. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I treat to check. It as often as I can. And how often do you call your claim? I often yes. call them. I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. One a week and Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Once. Once. Once a week. One a week. One a week or one in week? Once. Once. One a week on Monday, but usually call them on Friday to check date or do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Okay. Oh. Walter, call, call. Oh. Oh. Call. Look at me, Walter. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yo sé que está trabajando. Your mouth rounder. La boca un poquito más ronda. Call. 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 Like that. Call. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. 60 seconds. Creo que a todos me lo sacó el sistema, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah. Yo me quedé solo. <laughs> yes, yeah, because when there are problems with the signal, it happens like that. Cuando hay problemas de señal, pasa eso. Okay, let's see, let's see. Who's gonna be first? The first one in my screen today, el primero en mi pantalla, is... So that's my volunteer. Thank you, Alfonso. <laughs> okay. Alfonso and let's see, Luis Armando. Okay. Do you start, Alfonso? Okay. How often do you check your mail? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? Clients. Clients. I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. You call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it. I believe it is important to have contact right then all the time. You are right. 
contact Excellent. with them. Contact with them. Contact with them. Perfect. Thank you very much, both of you. Susana and Edwin. Susana, you are Anne. Edwin, you are John. Hello, Susana. John, you start. Edwin John. Yeah. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Perfect. Thanks, Susana. Excellent. Well yeah. done, both of you. Now, let's see. Next is going to be uh, Sonia and Walter Arana. Well done. Sonia, you are Anne. Okay. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And um, how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay. Perfect. Walter, contact with them. Contact with them. Thank you, teacher. Okay. And in your case, Sonia, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Call them. Call them. Say with me, Sonia. Call them. Call them. Yes, because you are saying call them. And it's Call them. Okay, call them. Perfect. Thank you. Yo dije call them. Yep. <laughs> Twice. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> now let's see Walter, oh. Ruiz, and Berta. Okay. Walter, you are John. How often do you check your email? Two hours, and you? Well, I try to, ch to check it as often as I can. How often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call, call them first in the morning, I believe it is important to have contact with Ken all the time. You are right. Perfect. Thank you very much, both of you. Now, Mauricio. Hello. I think we are having connection problems there. Let's see, Evelyn. You ready? Yes. Okay, and Elizabeth is going to be your partner. Daisy, hello. hello. <clears throat> okay, Elizabeth, uh, Evelyn is going to start. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every, every two hours, and you? 
Well, I try to check it as often as I can. I, how often do you call your clients? I often call them one a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check the order do you call clients. Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Perfect. Just remember, Elizabeth, call them, call them. Call them. Perfect, thank you. Okay. Ivania and Arvin. Arvin, you are going to start, please. Okay. Ready, Ivania? Ready. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it. It's a often as I I can and all. How often do you call your clients? Clients. I, uh, I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on the Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I was Kai thing first thing in the morning. I be believe it is important to have contact with them at the time. You are right. Okay, perfect. Arvin, always, always. Always, okay. Okay. Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Sandra, let's see who is going to help you. Susana is going to help you. Hello. Susana is going to help you, Sandra. So, Sandra, you are going to start. Usted comienza, Sandra. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often I can, as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them on once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first, first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them at the time. You're right. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks to you guys. Let's see. Let's continue. We're having a problem there. Okay. I'm sorry. I need to get the attendance again, guys. So let's see. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Present teacher. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Present teacher. Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro, absent. Daisy Elizabeth Celaya Gómez. Present teacher. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Veras. Present teacher. Okay. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Present teacher. Karen Isabel García Rodríguez, absent. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present teacher. 
Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina, absent. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Let's go check a little bit of the explanation, guys. Let me share with you. Déjenme compartir. Let me compartir. What happened? Oh, this happened. Okay, let's see. Let's check first. Vocabulary, problems with vocabulary here. Hay alguna pregunta con el vocabulario de la conversación, please. Is there any question? No questions? Okay. Remember, if the question says how often they are asking us about the regularity, how usually. Cuando nos preguntan how often, nos están preguntando que cuán a menudo, que tan regularmente. I often, a menudo. Okay, let's go check. Ongoing activities at the workplace. How to use frequency adverbs. Use frequency adverbs to say how frequently an activity happens. Let's check them a little bit. Vamos a revisarlo un poco. A hundred percent, always. Remember, we are in page 20 from your manual. Estamos en la página 20 del manual. Always, 100%. Usually, 90%. Normally, 80%. Often, 70%. Sometimes, 50%. Occasionally, 30%. Seldom, 10%. Hardly ever, 5%. Rarely, 5%. Never, 0%. Remember, this is mostly something of perspective. Eso es algo que depende de la perspectiva. And remember, always, it's always going to be 100%. Esto siempre va a ser en porciento. Sometimes, it is always 50%. Sometimes means a veces. Okay? That's something. A veces. Never is never. Nunca. Okay? Let's look at examples. I always get up at five o'clock. He usually drives to work. She normally checks her email. I often have breakfast at work. She sometimes uses the microwave. I occasionally work overtime. You remember extra hours, overtime. We seldom take calls at work. We, he rarely has conferences. I never get late to work. Okay, let's see. Now, guys, questions about this? Preguntas con esto? It's easy, remember. We have always the person, yes. Teacher. Yes. Seldom. What mean? Uh, what mean? Pocas veces, rara vez. Y hardly ever, rarely, es rara vez. Yes, but seldom también. Hardly ever es casi nunca. Casi nunca. Ah. Okay. Pero también almost never también quiere decir casi nunca. Almost, almost never. Yes. Mm. Remember, they depend on perspective. Depende mucho de la perspectiva. That's why they are expressed on average. Por eso se nos expresan con porcentaje. Okay? Okay. Any other question? I got a pregunta. No? Okay. Let's see. Before we do the activity. Antes de que hagamos la actividad. Let's see. From here. Okay. Albers of frequency. 
look, this is easier. We just have always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. How do we use them? Okay, we use albero frequency to answer the question, how often? Whenever they ask you how often you use albero of frequency, we use a positive bear with hardly ever and never. Okay? We say he never smokes. We do not say he doesn't never smoke. Acá le voy a explicar algo en español. Utilizamos un verbo en su forma afirmativa cuando tenemos hardly ever y never. ¿Por qué? Porque ellos son negativos. Si nosotros utilizamos un adverbio negativo con una negación, se convierte en una doble negación y eso no está permitido. ¿Ok? Solo en estos casos sí. Position. Ok, that's something different. Position. Aquí vamos a hablar de referente. De position. Ok. Now, listen to me. I am always late for breakfast. I am always late for breakfast. Look at the sentence. Ok, let me show it to you. Like this. Look at this. I am always late for dinner. Let's make it easier. For dinner. I am always late for dinner. Okay. What I need you to see is the following, okay? In the basic structure, we have the subject of the sentence and clause, the verb, clause, I'm sorry, the verb, but we are not talking with every verb. In this case, it's just with the verb be, okay? Sorry, plus the other plus complement. Now, look at this, guys. Quiero que vean. Uh, teacher. Yes. Excuse me. Uh, one question uh, and different and plus and more. Yes, plus es un es este símbolo. El símbolo matemático se llama plus. Para el resto de cosas se dice more. Mm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, look at this other sentence, please. Okay, look at this one. I never drive and drink. It's not safe. No es seguro. I never drive and drink. Okay, in this case, I need you to check this. This structure, in this case, is different. We have the subject plus the other plus the verb, okay? And usually after this we have, sorry, let's see. Usually after this we have the complex, right? Now, look at this structure, guys. In this case we have the subject, then the adverb, then the verb, and usually here comes a complement, 
but in this case we are not using it because we just end with the two verbs. Terminamos solo con el verbo, así que no estamos usando lo acá. But the idea is this, look. When it is the verb be, the ver the adverb comes after the verb be. And the adverb comes before all the other verbs, okay? The adverb comes before all the other verbs. But it comes after the verb be. And that's like mandatory, okay? That's like all the time. This rule applies for all the other verbs with the exception of the verb be. Esta regla aplica para todos los adverbios, para todos los verbos, perdón, con excepción del verbo ser o estar. Why? Because the verb be has its own rule. Porque el verbo ser estar tiene su propia regla. And here we come. Look. Adverbs of frequency go before all verbs except B. Subject plus the adverb of frequency plus the verb. She always plays tennis in the morning. They usually have lunch at work. Okay? Now, let's check out something different. Adverb of frequency go after the verb to be, after is, after are, and after am. Okay. Look at the structure: subject plus the verb be plus the adverb of frequency. She is always late for work. They are often hungry. Simple, no? El adverbio de frecuencia va después del verbo ser o estar y antes de cualquier otro verbo. That's, in a few words, the main rule. Perdón que se lo diga en español, pero la regla sí. Simple es esta. El adverbio de frecuencia va después del verbo ser o estar y antes de cualquier otro verbo. Clear, right? ¿Hasta ahí vamos bien? Yes? No? So, so. Yo le escucho recortado. Okay, let's repeat, teacher. Let's make it like this. El adverbio de frecuencia va después del verbo ser o estar. El adverbio de frecuencia va después del verbo ser o estar y antes de cualquier otro verbo. That is the main rule. Esa es la regla principal. ¿Ok? Up to here we cool. ¿Hasta aquí vamos bien? Yes. Ok. Exceptions to the rule. Excepciones a la regla. Just one. Just one exception. Solo hay una. ¿Ok? I'll show it to you. And it's very, very simple. Very easy. Es algo muy fácil. Ok, just let me check on something. That's why. Ok, you see, this is the ones we have already. Now, look at this sentence. I am sometimes late for dinner. That's nice, no? The Albert after, the Albert in this case, after the verb be, it's okay. You see? Subject plus the verb plus the album. Perfect. Now look at this other sentence, please. Sí. 
Sometimes I am late for dinner. And now look at this other sentence. I am late for dinner. Sometimes. I am late for dinner sometimes. Okay, this is when we are talking about the verb be. Remember, we are talking about the verb be. All these three sentence, sentences are with the verb be. Perfect. Now, look at this other sentence. I sometimes sleep late. A veces duermo hasta tarde. Again, look. Sometimes I sleep late. And look at the next one. I sleep late sometimes okay what i need you to remember is this when it comes to the verb be cuando se trata del verbo pero está eh, it follows the rule sigue la regla and can be without following the rule Puede ser siguiendo las reglas y puede ser sin seguir las reglas. Mostly it depends of the sense. Más que todo depende del sentido de la oración. ¿Okay? La idea que queremos transmitir con la oración. And I will explain that to you in a second. Y te lo explico en un instante. Okay, I'm just sending you the, those images. When it comes to sometimes, sometimes is like the rebel of the adverbs. El sometimes es el rebelde de los adverbios. Because it can be before the structure or after the structure or with the structure. Puede ser, puede colocarse el sometimes antes de la estructura, después de la estructura, o con la estructura. ¿Ok? Mostly it depends on the sense. Más que todo depende del sentido. A veces duermo hasta tarde. Yo a veces duermo hasta tarde. Duermo hasta tarde. A veces. The three sentences are the same, but it's not the same idea. Las tres oraciones son lo mismo. Es la misma idea, pero no es la misma idea. And you go like, what? Y usted me dice, ¿qué pasó ahí? Simple. Escúchela de nuevo. Yo a veces duermo esta tarde. Una afirmación. A veces duermo esta tarde. Una explicación. Duermo esta tarde a veces. ¿Me escuchó? Al cambiar la entonación, cambió la idea, ¿verdad? And that, as it happens in Spanish, it happens the same in English. Of course, that is something that will become like more common to you further on. Desde luego se va a volver más fácil y más común para ustedes más adelante. So, relax right now. I'm just explaining the rule. Solamente les explico la regla como va. Okay, now. There's an exercise that we are going to do. Hay un ejercicio por ahí que vamos a hacer. In page 20, there's an exercise for us. Okay? The exercise goes like this. If you have your manual, you can check it out. Si tienen su manual, puede verlo. If not, I'm going to share it with you. Si no, se los comparto en este momento. And it's this. You have to complete a list of your activities of the activities you do in a regular week. I need you to write me one sentence with always, one with often, what, 
with sometimes, one with hardly ever, and one with never. Okay? Always, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. That's what I need you to do. That's the first part of the activity. La primera parte de la actividad es eso. Write a sentence using always, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Now, what are we going to do with the sentence? ¿Qué vamos a hacer con las oraciones? Share with your classmate. Compartirlas con su compañero. So you are going to be working in pairs. Okay, groups are created. Let me check. Perfect. Please, let's jump in. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You got seven minutes for this activity. Siete minutos para esta actividad. Often. Eh, often es a, a cierto tiempo. A menudo, exacto. Teacher. Yes. Eh, always I drop road verification. Is correct or no? I always, I always do. Do, ah, do. Por eso que no me, no me, no veía que me. Ah, eh. Always do. Yes. Drug root verification. Yep. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Yes, I tenía duda. duda. Ahí está. Get up. Yeah. Walter dijo, I, all, I always get up. Sí, sí, sí. At, at six. At, at six. Sí, sí. Se lo comparto para que... At, ¿Acá? Sí, six p.m. Sips, sips. I'll, I'll, I'll always get up at. I say the first. The mic. Hmm. Comienzo con lo que tengo. I start. Okay. I always my emails in the morning. Espera. I always. Check my Hello. emails in the morning. My, I always check my email. Check my emails in the morning. In the morning. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Ah? Often I am late at English class. Often. Hmm. Often I am late at English class. Often. I am usually. I am usually late. Use usually better. Use mejor usually. Es más común. No llego tan tarde. <laughs> okay, usually. Okay, Entonces voy a cambiar esa, Ivania. Uh -huh. Yeah, you start sure. on me. Una me falta a mí. El de never me, me falta, pero ahí le voy a poner que nunca tomo café. <laughs> ah, qué pena. Guay. Guay. <laughs> Mm, no me gusta. <laughs> what? Mm. But because it's the most important on the yes. morning. Um, no. No, yo tomo batidos. Batidos. <laughs> shakes? Ah, shakes. Exactly. Milk? Toma leche. Mm, no, sí, pero no necesariamente solo con leche. A veces con apio, piña, pepino. Ajo. I even got a twist. Me dio hasta un tic. <laughs> Ay, no. Coffee. Es que el café. Coffee. Le diré que. Abre, toma. O sea, tampoco es que. No, es que, es que eso es que. Unas dos veces al año, si acaso. <laughs> Nunca prácticamente. Coffee. Coffee. No. Come on, Sonia. Shame on you. You are a healthy no, no. person. Qué pena. Uy, sí, la pupu. Yeah, pupu. Yeah, but, but coffee is universal. Coffee is universal. But pupu is for all Salvadorian. Uh, no. no. Yeah, all the si people acaso, that Salvadorian lo love tomado, to us. Cuando lo he tomado es amargo. Así nomás. And that's the way it must be. Así debe ser. Exacto. Sí, pero es que no es algo que a mí se me antoje. O sea, tal vez, uy, no, como le digo un par de veces al año, pero no es algo que a mí me, se me antoje. O más. I think some aspects of your education were lacking. Creo que le hizo falta algunos aspectos de su educación cuando era chiquita. Me caí. No le enseñaron a tomar café. No. No, Eso. a mi leche, lechita me daba. Eso es malo. That's cruel. Es crueldad. Hablaré con mi papá. Yeah, please do, please. Share your sentences. Okay. Sí, ya. Voy, comienzo. Hello, guys. Did you share your sentences? Compartimos la oración. Hi, teacher. ¿Compartieron sus oraciones? Eh, ahorita las estábamos haciendo, teacher. Mm -hmm. Ok, ok. Hurry up, hurry up. Two minutes. Regreso en dos minutos. Dos minutos terminamos. Okay. okay. Okay, teacher. No, a menudo era jugoso. How often, cuando a menudo. Uf, cayó la guardia. Sí. <laughs> teacher. Yes. Me duele. <laughs> What? <laughs> duele mucho la boca. Oh, yeah, you told me you got... Oh, uh, that your mouth hurts. Yes. Teacher. Yes. A question. Tell me, uh, Walter. I hardly ever, a early day is correct. I hardly ever? Early day. Madrugo. 
Okay, I hardly ever get up early. Uh, get up early. Or wake up early. Okay. Any other sure. question? Uh, yes, tell me. The pronunciation is hardly ever or hardly? Hardly, hardly, hardly. Hardly. Yep, like that. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, mister. Uh, for example, I often get up at 5 a.m. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. Right. It's a good thing. You're welcome. Okay, ya puse dos que llevan tiempo. Vamos a cambiar otra. Sometime. Hurry up. Okay. Alguna. Sometimes. Sometimes. A veces. A veces. Yep. A veces. Hi, Casi teacher. nunca y nunca. O raramente. Seldom. Rara vez. Rara vez. Perdón. Often. A menudo. Muy bien. Okay. Okay. He sometimes help. He sometimes help coffee. Breakfast. Sería help a coffee or get a coffee? Could be both. Puede ser ambas. Have a cup of coffee. Or get a coffee. Yeah. Okay. You can also, you can even say grab a coffee. Grab? Grab. Agarrar. Ah. Uh, like take? Yeah, I think I need to go, I mean, I wish I could go gr just grab a cup of coffee, man. I'm sleepy tonight. You see? Sure. Yes. This cover says I often have a coffee or not. The thing is that or, we uh, mostly use usually. Normalmente utilizamos usually. Uh, bueno. In the word the often. Yeah, but you can use it like that. Para aspectos gramaticales puedo utilizarlo así. Okay. But when we speak, mostly we use usually. Okay. Usually. Yep. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, guys, one minute. Okay. Hurry up. Un minuto. Okay, listos. Perfect. I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Uh, never. Uh, it's correct. I never eat candy on the night. At night. At night. Oh, okay, yes, 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 yes. What's there, Sonia? I'm trying to look, but my daughter. And kills kills are like that. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Sonia. You got your microphone open. You start. <laughs> For la mía o la del computer. Yours. Okay. Always check my emails. Okay. 
I often meet with service provider. Perfect. Sometimes I feel tired. Okay. I hardly ever eat breakfast at home. Perfect. Please. Uh, finish, finish. I never drink coffee. Unacceptable. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please repeat the very first sentence. Uh, always check my emails. I always check my uh -huh. emails. Okay. L I. Yes. Remember, in English, you need to use it. En inglés no tiene que utilizar. Tomorrow, okay. we will see the only exceptions to that. Mañana vamos a trabajar con las únicas excepciones al no usar el sujeto. Okay? Okay. But for the, Thank you. you have to have in your mind that always, always in English, you need a subject. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's see. Next, Ivania. Thank you. You are next, Ivania. Um, yes, please. Okay. Um, I always have breakfast at eight o'clock. Perfect. I uh, often check my emails. Excellent. And sometimes visit my grandmother. Perfect. I uh, hardly ever drink water. Okay. And never do exercise. Perfect. Ay, me faltó una. Uh, oh, hardly ever drink. No, no, no. I hardly ever drink water. Me equivoqué, pero. You hardly and... drink water? Yes. Is that a dog on your lap? Sí. <laughs> <laughs> Se me <laughs> Se me subió. Okay. Interesting. Sí. Okay, tell sí. me it's breed. What breed is your dog? <laughs> Look at the sentence, ve en el chat. I am asking you, what breed is your dog? Look in the chat, Ivania. Ve en el chat, Ivania. What breed? What breed. breed is your dog? Raza. Ah, uh, schnauzer. Ra oh, an schnauzer. Nice. Sí. Nice hair. Bonito cabello. <laughs> Thank you. Now, sí. let's see. Edwin, your turn. Yes, teacher. Uh, I always do truck stroke verification. Perfect. I often work in night. At night. At night. Sorry. I sometimes prepare report. Perfect. I hardly never ever miss at work. Okay. A work I never day. Prepare. Or a day Sorry? at work. Miss a day no. at work. Rara vez at falta el trabajo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, exact. Miss, ¿Cómo sería ahí? Miss, miss a day at work. Miss a day at, at work. work. At work. At work. So, I hardly ever miss a day at work. I never prepare a coffee for the night. Man, right now I will. <laughs> <kill>. <laughs> right now I will kill for a cup of coffee. Ahorita mato por una cosa. I need one. Thank you, Edwin. Perfect. Let's see. Let's sure. see. Where's Daisy? Daisy, your sentences, please. And I always stay a shower. Okay, good. I often drink coffee. Perfect. I sometimes play soccer. Okay. I hardly ever drink beer. Okay. I never eat kiwi. Eat what? <laughs> eat kiwi. Oh, really? Uh, that's good. No, no. Once on a while. Allá al tiempo. Okay. Thank you very much, Daisy. Berta, your turn. 
Okay. I'll, I always check my emails. Okay. I often do you breakfast. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Repítame esa oración. I often do dessert breakfast. Okay, I often do breakfast. I often prepare breakfast. Or ah, cook. Okay, I often prepare breakfast. Or you can say cook breakfast. Okay. 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 Continue, please. I sometimes lay late at work. Okay. I have ever take a bus. Okay. And I never drive. Uh, how do you say? Nunca manejo. Sí, sí, tomando algo así. Okay. <laughs> interesting, interesting. You say it like this. And okay. not, under the influence. Okay. That's the, 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 the correct and specific term. Es el término específico. Under the influence. Under the influence. Ah. <laughs> because there's a word. Hay una palabra that it's I I I love, hold on. In in a radio, in a radio. But nobody uses that. Nadie usa eso. Unless you are a doctor. A menos que sea un doctor. Okay. <laughs> the rest Thank of the people too. and the police they say under the influence. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Now let's see. Let's see. Uh, Walter Ruiz, please give me your sentences. Uh, I always wake up at seven a.m. Perfect. I often had a coffee at work. Cool. I sometimes don't have lunch. Mm -hmm. I hardly ever smile at work. Okay. Uh, I never take a break from work. Okay. You hardly ever smile at work. Yeah. So when you're working, you're serious. Yes. Well, we are the exact opposite, Walter. Nosotros somos lo opuesto. I smile a lot when I'm working. The rest of the time, I don't. Yo solo sonrío cuando trabajo. The rest of the time, I am serious. The rest of the time, I'm like, oh, like this. This is my normal face. But no, when I'm working. When I'm working, it's different. I don't know. Something changes. The chip changes. <laughs> Can be a chip. Thank you, Walter. Let's okay. see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's next? Alfonso, please share your sentences. Okay, uh, number one, I always take a shower at 5.30 a.m. Man, at 5.30 a shower, that's terrible. Continue, please. <laughs> I often get up at 5 a.m. Okay. I sometimes drink coffee. Okay. I hardly ever go to the park. Perfect. I never late to at work. I am never late for work. I am. I am never late for work. I am never late for work. Okay, perfect. Thank you very okay. much, mister. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Edwin, you gave me yours? Edwin, ya me dio la suya? Yes. Yes, teacher. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just checked. Ya revisé. And then let me see, let me see. Walter Arana, please, your turn. Hey, teacher. Uh, I always get out at 6 a.m. Okay. I often take a shower in the morning. I sometimes take the lunch in the house. At home. I 
Sorry. At home. At home. At home. Yes. Sorry. I hardly ever uh, wake up early day. Uh, I never smoke. Okay. Very good habits. Muy buenos hábitos tiene. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Let's see, let's see who's missing. ¿Qué me falta? Uh, Arvin, you haven't given me your sentences, right? I think he's having problems. Okay, let's see Sandra. Your sentences, please. Okay. I am always checking my cell phone. Okay. I often check I often check my email and reply to emails. Okay. Sometimes I have a snap. Okay. Hardly ever get up from my desk. He never left my cell phone charger. Cargador, así se dice, teacher. Yes. Okay. Charger. Gracias. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I never leave my cell phone. Never. Ever. Yo nunca lo dejo. Never. Not even for sleeping. My cell phone goes under my head. Mi teléfono va abajo de mi cabeza. Under my pillow. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's missing, Susana? Okay. I always check my emails in the morning. Okay. Usually I am late at English class. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't have lunch. Okay. I hardly ever call my children. I never complete my arrival for work. Okay. Scold. You can use scold. You can use the word scold or you can use also tell off. Tell off. Oh. Tell off. Cool. Tell off tell. es regañar. Ah, ok. Casi no lo hago. Ok. And I, have, and I have one special for you guys. Tell on. Look at this word. Tell on. Sometimes kids tell on their moms. Algunas veces los chicos tell on their moms. ¿Cuándo pasa eso? Que los niños tell on their moms. Sus mamás. A sus mamás. That happens like, uh, let's see, imagine, well, Susana's got four kids. Susana tiene cuatro niños. One of them breaks a glass. Uno de ellos rompe un vaso. And the other one says, oh, I'm going to tell on my mom. Y el otro le dice, ah, I am going to tell on my mom. Y va corriendo y says, mom. You see? That's tell on, cuando se ponen queja entre ellos, cuando se acusan entre ellos, okay? That's to tell on. Kids do that all the time. Los chicos lo hacen todo el tiempo. It's interesting. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's make a review. Today we, we've been working with Alberts of Frequency. Let's remember that the Alberts of Frequency express that, a frequency. How regularly, how often we do something. Okay, now let's remember, Alberts of Frequency come after the verb be and before any other verb, okay? Alberts of Frequency come always after the verb be and before any other verb, with the exception of sometimes. Why? Because sometimes can be with the structure, before the structure, or at the end of the structure. Any question? No? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Eh, well, guys, hoy vamos a estar terminando exactamente tiempo porque recuérdense que yo me quedo 10 minutos después con los que tengo asignados. Este día tengo asignado a Vladimir. Si hay algún interesado en quedarse, me avisa porque él no está en clase. 
y yo igual voy a estar los 10 minutos acá conectado. Para el resto, have a good night, take care, bye bye, see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good, good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Yeah. Hello, Alfonso. Still got Alfonso and Daisy. Realmente a mí me toca hasta mañana. Si alguno de los compañeros quiere pasar hoy, no hay problema. Daisy. Igual, si será el 26, me toca, pero siento que me hace falta mucho. Ok, but if you need extra help, Daisy. Daisy. Si necesita ayuda extra, podemos tocar algún tema ahorita. Si no, aprovecho, eh. Alfonso. Alfonso está ganoso. <laughs> si no, yo mañana no problem. Or in other occasion, occasion. A usted lo tengo programado mañana, ¿verdad, Alfonso? Yeah. Ah, nos vemos. Nos vemos. Por eso, pero si quieren doble de si puedo atender la hora y el 26. Ok, si no, nunca voy a aprender. Ok. Y Alfonso, si usted quiere una oportunidad extra, avíseme y lo programa. Porque creo que voy a tener más espacios. Perfect. Ok, perfect. Sí, si tiene por mí todo lo que tengan. Good. Ok, perfect. Mañana le comunico. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you. Ok, let's see. Let's see. Daisy, hello, good evening. Tell me, how can I help you? ¿Cómo le podemos ayudar? Dígame. ¿Qué le está dando? ¿Qué le está dando problemita? No sé, si a veces me olvidan las cosas. Say what? ¿Cómo así? What is the main problem? ¿Cuál es el problema en sí? El problema es que quiero hacer un poco más de los nervios, pero no los de frecuencia. No me quedo muy claro. La segunda parte de donde dice que vamos a cuando el ser estar. Ok, déjeme ver, déjeme ver, déjeme ver. Permítame solo un segundo. Ok. La segunda parte me dice, ¿cuándo vamos a usar los adverbios de frecuencia? Uh -huh. Ok. An adverb of frequency expresses that. Un adverbio de frecuencia expresa eso, una frecuencia. ¿Qué tan regular? Cuando usted dice, a veces, casi nunca, nunca. Esos son adverbios de frecuencia. Sometimes, never, almost never. Ok. Ahora. Lo único que varía es con las reglas en la posición donde van en la oración. ¿A, a qué me refiero? Hold on. Deme un segundo. Que creo que nos está dando problemas el internet, ¿verdad? ¿Me escucha bien? Sí. Ahorita sí. Ok. Vamos a ver. Lo que sucede es que, pero creo que estoy frozen para usted, ¿verdad? Estoy congelado, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Lo que sucede es que el adverbio de frecuencia va. Cuando usted tenga am, is o are, va a ir después del am, del is o del are. ¿Ok? Am. Is, are. Ahí va después de ellos. Y cuando usted tenga cualquier otro verbo, va antes. Un ejemplo. I am never late for work. Nunca llego tarde al trabajo. I am never late for work. 
Si se fija, am, I am never. El adverbio viene después del am. ¿Ok? Ahora, vea este otro. She is always on time for work. She is always. Is. She is always. Ahora escuche este otro ejemplo. She always comes on time. ¿Lo vea? Daisy. Sí, sí. Estoy, aquí estoy poniendo atención. Ok. Entonces, ¿me capta la idea de cómo se la estoy expresando? Sería, digamos, ya estamos hablando de tercera persona. Sí. Con excepción del verbo cero estar. Ok. With the exception Los of the verb be. Siempre van antes de que me... Los adverbios siempre van antes del verbo. Con la excepción del verbo cero estar. Ok. Ok. And mostly that's the rule. Realmente esa es la regla. Eh? That's the base. Any other questions? Okay. Algo más? No, ya más o menos ya me va quedando un poco más claro. Perfect. Solo una pregunta con las tareas. Yes. Que no sé si me la revisó o no, si las estoy haciendo o no. Sí, no le he puesto observaciones porque estamos bien. ¿Se manda? Si no tiene ninguna observación es porque estamos bien. La plataforma, ¿cómo vamos? Ahorita no puedo checar en este momento. Es que en la plataforma la voy. La llevo, pero no me aparece nada de calificado ni nada. En la plataforma cuando realiza los ejercicios. No, no me parece calificado. Sí me parece que me equivoqué, pero lo vuelvo a hacer. Ok, but that's not a problem. Ese no es un problema, si lo vuelve a repetir. Este, hagamos algo. Recuérdeme el día de mañana que le revise sus datos en la plataforma, por favor. Ah, ok, está bien. Ok, ok. okay bueno, sí. Entonces, eh, cualquier otra duda, avíseme si tiene dudas y algún minuto pueda quedarse después de alguna clase, yo le puedo programar nuevamente. Have a good night. Take care. Bye. See you tomorrow.
Let's see, let's see. The system kicked me out. Bring me back in. Let's hope it has recorded. See you tomorrow.